how to add a preloading animation to your WordPress website. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add a preloader animation into your WordPress website. So if you're wondering how you can do that, just watch this video until the end and you will know how to do so. So first things first, as you can see over here, I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard and you will need to do the exact same thing. And once you're over here, this is how it's going to look like. This is going to be your dashboard. And what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto the left side and you're going to scroll down and you're going to go into the plugin section over here. Now, I have a bunch of different plugins installed. That's why I have such a big menu for you. It might be a little different, so don't worry. You will find the plugin section right here and just hover your mouse over it and just simply click on add new plugin. And once you do so, you will arrive over here into the plugin section over here where we can find different plugins and install them and get to it. So first things first, as you can see, we're gonna go over here onto the left side and we're gonna search for a plugin called Preloader. And once we do that, as you can see, we have a bunch of different plugins that we can use. So you can use any one of these plugins to your liking, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this plugin right here called the Preloader Plus. So we're gonna click on install now, wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed. And once it's installed, we'll just simply click on activate. And once it's activated, you will find this plugin in your plugins directory over here. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, as you can see, there is no settings option for this. That means we can't activate it. So to add a page loading to your screen website with style and animation, and it's very easy. So just come over here onto the left side. You will find an option called appearances and it will appear right above plugins for me. So for you, it might be a little bit different, but don't worry, you will find the appearances. And what you wanna do is just simply click on customize. And when you do that, you will arrive over here into the editor. As you can see right now, my site is loading up and then we can go ahead and add our preloader animation. So to add it, come over here onto the left side and find the preloader option over here. So scroll down, you will see the preloader plus option right here. Just simply click on it. And over here, you have a bunch of different options. So you have setting, you have typography, icon image, progress bar, animation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on settings. We can see the general settings for it. So over here, we have custom image, we have progress bar, built-in icon and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we have a bunch of different options. So show the preloader only on the front page. You can choose if you want that. That way, only the front load of the page will see the preloading animation, or you can choose show the preloader only on first visit. As you can see, you saw a little bit of the animation over here. The background was black and the preloaded text works great. So that's pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and actually add an icon to it. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna click on icon slash images. And we can see we have a bunch of different options over here. So we have this icon right here. So let it play for a second over here. Let's see, as you can see, this is the icon or we can choose this icon over here. As you can see, this is the icon or we can choose whichever one we want. I really would like to have this one over here, the bars, I think it looks pretty cool. And we can even add a custom logo to it as well. So to add a custom logo, just scroll down and you will have this option, custom icon slash image. Just click on select image and you can select your own logo over here. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different options. Let me just choose this one right here. We're gonna click on choose image. Wait a couple of seconds. Okay, so it didn't show. Let me just choose the animation for real quick because I think that's pretty standard. So we're going to choose the animation fade so that it fades into the, you know, website as well. So as you can see, that's how it looks like. We have the animation speed and the dimensions as well. So let me just go ahead and change the logo real quick so that we can see it. So maybe this logo would appear because I don't know if the background settings are changed or not. So I'm going to choose this one as well. Let me see how that one looks. So yeah, that's how it looks like. So let me just go back real quick and go into settings. And let me just select the color real quick. I'm gonna choose white, see how it looks like. I think white looks much better. And we're gonna change this one over here to something black so that it's much more darker. Yeah, that looks much, much better. Or we can choose it red as well. So we're gonna actually choose red and we're gonna brighten that color up really to make it pop real quick. Yes, I think that looks good because our site color is mostly red and as well. So we're going to choose that. Or we can go ahead and a little bit of pinkish color, I think. But I think that looks good. And then we can even add a custom content as well. We have the progress bar color over here. 
animation over here we can choose the animation as well we even have our icons as well let me just change the icon dimensions to 100 so to actually show the logo what you're going to need to do is you're going to go back you're going to go into settings and over here you will have this option right here as you can see built-in icons you can appear we have the progress bar and we also have custom image we have blog name and we also have custom content and percentage counter so let's go ahead and enable custom image that way whenever it loads up we're going to have our custom image as well so wait a couple of seconds there you go as you can see our custom logo over there now it was very small so let me just go back into icon and image and increase the dimensions of it as well so we're going to go with 250 and see how it looks like so wait a couple of seconds over here it's going to load up and as you can see our icon is over there and let me just go ahead and click on no animation on the logo and see how it looks like because for me that was really you know fast so as you can see that's how it looks like or we can just increase the animation speed as well so we're going to go ahead and click on fade and over here i'm just simply going to go with 4000 over here so as you can see yeah here we go that looks much much more cleaner maybe it was a little too slow so let's go with 3500 and let's see how it looks like now wait a couple of seconds still a little bit too fast so let's go with 2000 get it really really perfect you know yeah i think that looks much much more nicer or you can just go with no animation it all depends on you so that's how we basically do it i think i'm gonna go with this one as well the dots i think dots were much much better so let's just wait a couple of seconds for it to load. Yeah, that looks much, much more cleaner. Now, if we go back into settings, we can even enable the blog name as well or custom content as well. So I'm going to go ahead and enable custom content. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So let's see how it looks like. Here you go. Please wait. We have our logo and up at the top, we have our animation. So as you can see, it's really simple. It's really cool. So that's how you basically do it. Then to save this option, what you need to do is just simply click on publish. And once it's published, you can just go ahead and view your website. So let me just go ahead and view the website. I'm just simply going to copy my domain name I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to paste the domain name and I'm simply going to go ahead and click on enter. Now, as you can see, we have our progress bar at the top. We have our logo. We have the animation and we have our text as well. So it looks really cool. It looks really, really sexy. So that's how we basically do it. So that's pretty much it. You just click on publish and then you just simply click on the close icon and you will be taken back to your dashboard and boom, that's it. So that's how you basically do it. That's how you basically add a preloader animation to your WordPress website. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if it doesn't work for you, you've got an error, let me know as well. And we will work it together to solve your problem. So having said that, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.